Hello and welcome to Collective Worship. Good to be back. Well, today I'm going to be thinking about kindness, one of our Christian values. And it's something we see modelled in Jesus quite a lot. And I'm going to start off by telling a story from St John's Gospel. It's from the second chapter of John's Gospel. And it's right at the beginning of Jesus's ministry, which means the work he did when he was a grown up. So it's early on. He's at a party. He's at a wedding party and he's there with his mum and some of his friends. So let's hear how St John retells this story. On the third day, there was a wedding at Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there, and Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the wedding. Then the wine ran out. Jesus' mother came over to him. They haven't got any wine, she said. Oh, mum, replied Jesus, what's that got to do with you and me? My time hasn't come yet. His mother spoke to the servants. Do whatever he tells you, she said. Six stone water jars were standing there, ready for use in the Jewish purification rites. Each of them held about oh, 20 or 30 gallons, which is probably over a 100 litres. Fill those jars with water, Jesus said to the servants, and they filled them right up to the brim. Now, Draw some of that water out, he said, and take it to the chief steward, the man in charge of the catering. So they did. When the man in charge of the catering tasted the water that had turned into wine, and he didn't know where it had come from, remember, but the servants who had drawn the water they knew, he called the bridegroom over. What everybody normally does, he said, is to serve the good wine first and then the worst stuff when people have had plenty to drink and so don't know any better. But you've kept the good wine till now. This event in Cana of Galilee was the first of Jesus' signs. He displayed his glory and his disciples believed in him. Imagine that, the first of Jesus' miracles, and remember later on, he healed people from all sorts of diseases, he cast demons out and did all sorts of things, did all sorts of amazing things. So why on earth did he bother to sort out a catering mishap, a, a problem with running out of wine at a party? Well, a wedding's a nice occasion, isn't it? It's a celebration. And... Jesus did that. Remember, he didn't want to do it. He said to his mum, no, what's that got to do with you and me? My time has not yet come. It's because he knew that it wasn't yet the time to show everybody who he was, the Son of God. But what he did do was something really kind. It would have been really embarrassing to the bride and bridegroom to have run out of uh, wine at their wedding. It would have been a social disgrace. Everyone would have laughed at them. So he spared them that. He was kind. Now, Jesus is far more important than someone who just sought out enough wine or food at a party. But what he did was he made sure that everybody had enough to eat and drink. He made sure that the celebration kept going. Because what Jesus was all about was showing God's celebration in heaven. He was revealing how wonderful God is and how that is worth having a party about here on earth. So even in a little way, through this act of goodness, he was showing something about who he was. And also Christians believe that Jesus will come again and call us all to the divine party of heaven. So when we copy Jesus and are kind to people, 
or do acts of kindness, we can't turn water into wine. But I wonder, what can we do that is an act of kindness? Now, I know you may be thinking about this sort of thing in your schools all the time. There are all sorts of charities that do acts of kindness. For instance, in May, it's Christian Aid Week, and certainly in Boston Spa, we're doing a Christian Aid service, and we're having a plant sale in the Millennium Square, and we're doing all sorts of fundraising for that, because they do amazing acts of kindness out of their Christian faith all around the world. Christian Aid is an amazing organisation for that. But it doesn't have to be doing things for charity. Every day we can find small ways to live out the Christian value of kindness. So that's a challenge. Maybe have a chat wherever you are after this collective worship about that. What sort of things can we do in our schools and in our households when we get home that are kind? Well, I think we ought to pray about that. So let's be still. Close our eyes and let us pray. Heavenly Father, we all like a party and we long for the time when everybody can safely get back together to have great big parties and give each other a great big hug. I know I'm looking forward to that. But we thank you that you inspire people to amazing acts of kindness. We thank you for the example of Jesus' act of kindness at the wedding, which revealed who he was, which showed us that he wants to invite us to your party in heaven. So inspire us to be kind to other people. In Jesus' name, Amen. Well, off you go. I wonder what the rest of the day will have in store for you. I wonder what acts of kindness you will be inspired to do. Take care and see you soon.